If I stay, will you stay? If I go, will you go? If I pay, will you play? Do you know what I know? Do you love? Do and they're pretty popular. A lot of like doctors like to get these cars too. Yeah, you know, it's one of those vehicles that's just really collectible. Um, if you're a car collector, that's going to be one of your base cars to have in your collection. Mm. Um, what else we got here? Ferrari, like I said, is probably one of my favorite cars here. It only has 300 original miles on it. Uh, $3.5 million. Really fun. Does it ever get um, started? It's a collector's car. This one really, you know, as you can see, it's 2004 and it's 300 miles on it. So if you average that out, it was at 25 miles per year. Jeez. This is his favorite car. Yeah. My dad had two of them. He had a black one and then he had a uh, red one. David obviously has a blue one, which is, I think, cooler. He's got the tech art, the yellow combo. It's very unique. I'm surprised it doesn't have a roll cage. It, I think it does, actually. It does? No, it doesn't. Oh. Yeah. Some of them might dad. The black one. Uh, obviously, Lamborghini Countach, uh, 25th anniversary edition. We just discounted this car about 50 grand. Probably one of my favorites. Gives you that Wolf of Wall Street vibe. I know, hopping out that drunk with yeah. the white guts too. Repeat S. I actually had the first one of these delivered in California. Um, like I said, this is probably one of my favorite cars here. It's naturally aspirated V12, four door, like the Lagondas back in the 70s. You know, there's a lot of them. They're not very popular. It's a sports car. It's a four door. I love it. This one's got 6,000 miles on it. It was about 216 new. You can pick it up for 100 grand. GT3, 4.0. Stick, very collectible. These cars are selling for 50,000 every stick run they came out. Wow. And um, one of my favorite cars, also. If you're a Porsche guy, you need to have this, you need to have the air cooled. Uh, the 4.0 motor is in the half. You have to have the manual, and it rests to 9,000 RPM. Yeah, exactly. This is one of our show cars. This isn't your normal Corvette Classic. Oh my gosh. This is about 300,000. As you can see, it can be built out. Done correctly. I thought these had like ZR1 motors. This has been done. This is a 300,000 R Classic. It's, uh, this is something you would see basically at Siemens. Um, yeah, this is a show car. Right. I swear, um, I saw an episode of Vehicle Virgins. He did a car like this. It's made by a, like a certain company. Exactly. Yeah. And they like, you have to like either buy the car it's before like and then they do it. Yeah, those Wagner Motorsports. Mm -hmm. It's done proper. This one's pretty sick. Yeah, I'm surprised it's not a Barrett Jackson. We've got 50 cars right now going on a Barrett Jackson. Really? I remember you guys had a, a Ventador here. Did it get sold? Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, and then this is the... Indoors. Really? They had a, the uh, transmission? I, well, I had a Mercy Lago stick, so I can't really complain about transmission. You had it? Yeah. You don't have it anymore? Uh, I had it. Dude, they're worth so much money now. Yeah. It was a fun car. Yeah, for sure. I had a 599. That was my favorite car. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, that's, wrong really with that's a great track car. It's a supercharged Lotus. I'll show you the motor on that. This is actually something that the guys from the dealership came on the track. It's not on the website, but really? it's called Cram that is. Wow. It's a really big intercooler. That's not lit stock. No. So you guys track this car? This car has been tracked. Well, like it's supposed to be. I guess it's supposed to be. Yeah. That's what it says for your own trailer. I remember at like probably four or five months ago, you guys had like a, um, a mini John Cooper works. It was like wide bodied. Mm -hmm. It was like turbo. It was really, really sick. I believe that's a Barrett Jackson right now. Yeah, really? Yeah. It was like, it was like sticker for like 25 grand. It was like ridiculous. It was super cheap. I was like, dude, it's a good track weapon right there. That's the cool thing about park place motors is a lot of guys treat their cars like their babies, invest a lot and trade up. So you can come here, you can get a great car that's been updated and modified at a really reasonable price right. and enjoy it. Um, like these Porsches are pretty much our bread and butter. 997, air-cooled, everybody loves them. You can come up with anywhere from 30 to 60 grand. Very collectible, mm -hmm. you can drive them. 
That's why you see a lot of variety here. People like to trade in their cars. Yeah, well, the idea is, you know, we're an Aston Lotus dealer. Um, we want to have you through the full customer experience. So you service your cars with us, you buy your cars with us, you upgrade your cars with us, and we want to be your family shop. Yeah, I get that vibe here. They're always super nice. Super nice. Sold our eights. It's on yeah. hold? It's, it's sold. You know, you get a lot of requests for these cars right now. This one is the last edition of this vehicle. This is the V10 Plus with all the carbon. Yeah, well, already competition. So. Ooh, and the a little bit of more shells. I bet the manual ones go for more. Was there any manuals in this year? Do you know? I think they didn't do manuals in the last year. There's those track focus, and usually when they're track focused, they stitch the manuals. Mm -hmm. uh, you get better results. Yeah, in the DSG. Yeah. A couple more Maseratis coming. About three or four coming right now from California. They'll be here in two weeks. Um, really popular car. Like I said, depreciation is in the favor for the second hand buyer. Mm -hmm. This is like a hundred eighty four thousand dollar car new. You can buy it now for fifty grand. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't ever see any like M fours or M three. I mean, I, there's an M three in that showroom over there. We have an M three that we stick in on consignment over there. Uh, we have an M four. Um, they just continue making M threes this year. Really? So they stop making them completely until the new body style comes out. Right. Uh, we have M3s occasionally. We have a lot of these RS3s right now. We just sold that one. We have a black one with less mileage outside. Um, that has about 12,000 and aftermarket work done to it. We're asking 5,000 more than that one. It also has less mileage than that one. So that one's sold for 49. Wow. The one we have outside is black on black with 12,000 K options. We're asking 53 for it. Mm. It's a great car. Uh, like I said, the classic are cool. That's a hundred thousand dollar car. Wow. Fifty thousand original miles on it. It's got the stick shift. Proper bad boy stick. Wow, this is beautiful. We're looking at the website in a couple days. Wow, this is mint. It is mint. This guy took care of his car. Even smells like a a Porsche. Mm -hmm. Why did they do the, um, like the, uh, the moon roof like this? That's how they did it back then. Really? Yeah. Are you able to like take it off? Uh, open it? No, I'm like, like, is it able to like come off like that? No. No? Just like that? Wow, that's weird. It's pretty sick, man. Not a, a little bit. Not the BBS is. BBS wow. Is on it. All the carbon after market, which I like. A lot of times they bring these cars back to stock and they get for sale. This one's got all done up. I'm glad they kept it like this. It's really sick. Yeah, it's one of those big debates. This is one of my favorite colors. It almost looks black. As you get closer, you'll see that it's green. Whoa. Yeah, it's Dude, a, that's crazy. Custom. This is a custom color? It's a custom, uh, it's a custom requested color from the factory. Wow. This is the turbo stick. Whoa. 2007. This guy had taste. Yeah. To me, it's you know one of those cars that's kind of a, a sleeper you know, compared to this one. Wait, this is a Turbo S as well? No, they're both turbos. Oh, they're both turbo. Both turbo. Okay. What's your favorite car in this room? Uh, Hummer. Oh, the Hummer? Oh, yeah. That one's crazy. What's going on right now? I've been debating that one. Yeah. Do you have like a, a winter daily? Uh, this area? Yeah, Volkswagen. It's T1. Oh, yeah. Those are super good. I'd just be driving my uh, rear wheel drive Z4 around. I have a 7 Series in the daily, but I drive my Volkswagen around here mostly. Dude, this is sick. This is like proper. This is very proper. So we redid the headlining. Whoa. Line. Yeah. You could fit like a whole family of like 10 in there. Oh. And you got room in the back too. That's awesome. That's the cool thing about this, you have the Allison transmission, which is a big deal. You have the Duramax engine. So the last year, the Alphas had the bigger motors on them. And like I said, this car was originally 84 grand, now it's 184,000. So uh, it did not depreciate $1. Mm -hmm. That's a good investment. True. Well, thanks for showing me around, man. Like, this is awesome. No worries. Like, it's, uh, I know it's like pretty dead here. So, I mean, it's definitely. Nice to have someone come around and just talk about some cars because I love cars. They say, nice. like, yeah.
Now I've learned to never help you out